Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be hollowing out my catalytic converter on my 2006 Nissan Altima. There's a lot of reasons why people hollow out their catalytic converters, but one of the main reasons is to gain more horsepower. Now, the way you gain horsepower by emptying out a catalytic converter is because in a catalytic converter, there's like a honeycomb shape in there that filters the exhaust gases. So as you guys can see in this catalytic converter, there's a little light right there. And that is actually the other side of the um, catalytic converter, but it's so restricted with all these fibers in there. So by removing these fibers, you allow more air to pass through the exhaust system. And in return, if you're able to release more air, you should be able to take more air in, which creates horsepower. One thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that this is actually illegal in most states. So make sure that you are following your state laws and regulations when you do this. Before I hollow out my catalytic converter, let me go ahead and show you guys an exhaust clip. We're going to first start off by jacking up the vehicle and supporting it with jack stands. Now that we have the car supported, we're going to go underneath the vehicle and start hollowing out the catalytic converter. These are some of the tools that I'm going to use to hollow out my catalytic converter. I'm going to be using a long flathead, a big hammer, and a piece of pipe. We're going to start off by removing this fastener right here. There's one on this side and then one on the other side. So that this pipe is not in our way, I'm going to put a bungee cord on it and push it to the side. Guys, so right here we have the catalytic converter that I showed you outside of the vehicle. This is the exact same one. And as you guys can see, on the catalytic converter, you really can't see anything in there. Everything is clogged up with the um, honeycomb fibers in there. So all of that is going to be really restrictive and the air is not going to flow as freely as it should. In order for us to hollow out the catalytic converter, I'm going to be using the flathead. And all I'm going to pretty much be doing is breaking up the honeycomb fibers in here. And then I'm just going to get a hammer and just start hammering it away. Before we start hollowing out the catalytic converter, I wanted to let you guys know that this is actually a unmetered catalytic converter. Meaning that the O2 sensor is not measuring this catalytic converter and its efficiency. So it's fine to remove the um, honeycomb fibers in here and it won't throw a code.
guys, so this is the progress so far. As you guys can see, we made a hole through the catalytic converter. Now we just gotta go around it and break everything down. And then as you guys can see, there's a lot of debris on the bottom that is falling from the catalytic converter. So we're gonna make sure to not make a mess and catch that in a bag. Guys, in front of me, I have a Walmart bag with the leftover parts of the catalytic converter. As you guys can see, we hollowed it out. I just need to finish cleaning everything up, but we can actually see through the exhaust right there. Um, we're going to put everything back together and we're going to hear how the exhaust sounds with this being hollowed out. Guys, so we finished putting everything back together. Let me show you guys an exhaust clip of how the car sounds with the gutted catalytic converter. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs>